weird. Hello, fellow whiskey trailers. As you can see, I'm at the Aaron Distillery. Now, I'm going to do a little whiskey talk here. Uh, I'm the the sort of what I'm thinking of is why you should come to distilleries because, well, after all, once you've seen one distillery tour, you've seen them all, right? Wrong. You're so wrong. You 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 get you get you get a lot of uh, different. Um, nuggets of information when you on, on different tours so there's there's loads of different things you can pick up um, and actually it's really interesting to see the different setups for instance here in Aaron that's it see that just that that building there is it it's everything's so compact um, they've got everything pretty much in one room that you need so they've got the uh, the grist the, the barley mill uh, they've got six uh, wart tanks. Um, they've got their four stills, two uh, two spirit ones, um, which you might just be able to see in that window there. Probably not. But yeah, I mean, there's so many different reasons to come to different distilleries, um, and I'm going to talk about some of them. Some of them, you know, covered already. You can get different different uh, nuggets of information. Uh, you meet different people, of course, uh, different ideas. Um, you get to try. Um, a lot of different whiskies, of course, if you do the, the, the tours, um, and even in the shops, they'll, they'll give you the, uh, the, the samples and whatnot. But look at the scenery here. Look at the scenery here. I don't know if you can see that, that hill behind us. We were here yesterday, and as we were sitting in the cafe, which is uh, just over there, you can see the windows on the roof. We were sitting just underneath one of those windows, and uh, we were eating our burgers, which were excellent, by the way. <laughs> I looked out two golden eagles, and of course, Aaron's famous for its eagles. It's in the it's in the logo, right? And uh, the, actually, they halted production uh, because the eagles were nesting in the in the building site. So that kind of, you know, they played a little bit of havoc with it at the beginnings of the life of the this distillery. But you know, now it's it's part of their history. It's part of what Aaron's all about. And we were so lucky yesterday. Just up on that ridge, there was two uh, deer. And the, the eagles did a flyby and they, they buzzed the deer, went right over them and you could see the size. Absolutely incredible golden eagles. Um, so lucky to, to have seen that. And, um, and so that's one of, the other, one of the other reasons why you should visit a distillery or visit all the distilleries is because they've all got their own little unique story, their own little uh, unique bits of history and all the rest of it. And here we are with uh, one of the unique bits of history. That, so this is the old still, or one of the old stills. And essentially, this is what has brewed all the Aran up until now. So I don't think, I don't think it's widely publicized actually, but Aran have changed their stills recently. They've got new stills, built to the exact same specifications as this one. So there should be no change in uh, you know, in taste, texture, feel, oiliness, whatever, you know, it should all be exactly the same. But you can see, I don't know if you can see this, I'll, I'll try and zoom in on it. You see the uh, the patches that's happened over the years and the, the cuts. So this is, uh, this is quite an old, an old still. And interestingly, I'm gonna have to put this down. I need two hands, my camera's too heavy. Um, interestingly, um, about this still, is um or what i was told is that they actually wear down they a fun fact that at some point every distillery has to change their their stills and uh here's a man over here i'm just gonna go and say hello Yeah? Five really? Yeah? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Alright, nice. Well, that's actually happening. Just go around the order or? Yeah, I'll just, I'll... I'll... And here we are guys. This is uh, another reason why you should visit distilleries. Because you get opportunities like this. Um, 
the guy that did my tour yesterday, he came out, recognized me and said, come and, come and do some filming in, in the actual operation, while the operation's going on. So, check it out, I'm in the still house, I'm in the everything house, because like I said, everything's here. So, like I was saying earlier, so there's your, there's your grist bin, uh, that mills it all up, it comes down into a little chamber, and then this, uh, this Archimedes screw, or an auger if you like, takes it up, drops it down um, into the wash tank, uh, the mash tun down it. So this is where the beginnings of everything happen, so it gets all mixed around in there. Uh, it's a usual um, kind of mix. I think it goes in at like 60 odd degrees the first time, uh, and then it, they do a, a second one at 70 odd degrees. But yeah, but I mean you can see that everything's just so compact here. So yeah, so starts here. Put in the barley, make your mash, then it goes across here. You got your washbacks here. You got six, six washbacks. And uh, then this is where, I guess, the, the real magic happens. Got your uh, wash fills. And the spirit fills over there. And a rather nice spirit save. So as you can see, it's actually happening right now. Um, it looks like we're taking off the uh, the four shots and the faints, because as soon as it goes into that little middle bit, that's when they're actually taking the proper cut. So that's when they're taking the, I think they said that here in Aaron, they take the cut from around 73% down to around 64, I think you said. So yeah, wow, what a privilege. And then it's a, I think it's a, what they do with the, Taking it from 73 to 64, it makes it a real clean spirit. It's a, a real, it makes sure you get all that floral notes that are uh, archetypal in Aaron. And um, yeah, what a fantastic place. So when I was here yesterday, it was all quiet because uh, it was Sunday, and they they don't do a they don't do a distillation, they don't do a run on a, on a Sunday, and uh, I think they only do was it two or three a week now. They were doing more cycles, but now that they've got lag distillery, um, it's kind of, kind of quieting down a little bit here. Um, but yeah, wicked, check it out. And this is it, it's just all you need. This is all you need, just like compacted into like one big shed, I guess. So it, it gives me hope of uh, being able to start my own distillery, uh, my own little craft distillery at some point in the future. Because, you know, ideally all you need is this very small space. It's not very small, but it's not unachievable. Um, and obviously I'd be doing it on a lot smaller scale, so I'd only have like two stills. Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe I'd have to grind my grist by myself. But, wicked guys. Anyway, I, I should probably get out of here because I'm only allowed five minutes. There's another tour about to come in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off and finish my video outside. But this has been great. There you go, that was amazing. The, um, the tour guide from yesterday spotted me, came out and said, I've got a quick five minutes. You can get, you can get into the, the still house and um, you know, get something for your blog. And I was like, okay, I wasn't quite prepared for it. And you know, there's, there was quite a few people in there so it was kind of, uh, I was slightly flustered and I only had like four or five minutes to, to kind of give you guys a little tour of the inside. But you know, you, you get to see the inside. Um, obviously my descriptions of everything. Absolutely rubbish. Don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. But yeah, so um, 
as I was saying about this old still, what happens is every time that they do um, a run, so every time they're making some new make spirit, what happens is that this, the copper actually wears down. So it'd be interesting to find out exactly the sort of copper content uh, in whiskey, but it can't exactly be healthy for you. But you know, we're not, we're not drinking whiskey because it's healthy, I don't suppose. It's healthy for the soul, good for the soul. But essentially these wear away, they get thinner and thinner, which is why, when I pointed out earlier, you get, you get these little marks. You get these um, things that need to be patched up and eventually it just caves in because uh, it gets so thin. Um, and there's, there's other little lines here, repair jobs, stuff that's been done over the years. And then when it gets too thin, they obviously have to replace it. So there's four, I think it's, I think they're all, well the spirit stills definitely in, in iron just now are brand new. And this is, this is one of the old ones. So if you're drinking an iron right now, it was, it was probably done in this still, which is a great little thing. It's cool that you can come, you can get your picture taken next to, you know, your bottle of whiskey that, that you know, that made it, it made your whiskey. Um, so all the new stuff that comes out from, well, it's going to be a few years down the line, isn't it? So all the stuff that's getting made now is on the new stills. So it's going to be at least three years till you see any of that stuff getting put into a bottle, probably longer, more like seven. Um, right, so. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm a little bit flustered after that. I really wasn't expecting anything like that. I just thought I'd do a quiet little video in the car park. wouldn't get noticed. Um, but, brilliant. So the topic of the video, let's get back to that, which is why you should visit, visit distilleries. And I guess that, that also proves my point. Um, my point of people, friendly people, meeting different people, people that are passionate about whiskey. That's one of the things you don't always get. People don't always understand your uh, passion for whiskey. When you start t talking about whiskey, people get bored. People are like, oh man, he's talking about whiskey again. I get it all the time. So to come to a place where almost everybody appreciates it um, is, a, is a great thing. And finally, well, probably not finally, but one of the potential final reasons I'm gonna give you to come to a distillery. Hopefully my settings are alright now. Uh, wow, it's a bit frosty. So one of the other things is distillery exclusives, of course. Why wouldn't you come to a distillery and get a distillery exclusive? You can't get them anywhere else. So you pop into a distillery, you get something that nobody else can get unless they're at the distillery too. It's amazing. So currently Aaron has um, two uh, of these uh, distillery exclusives at the moment. And I'm just gonna tweak this camera up. So yeah, Aaron's got two, two distillery exclusives. He's got one from uh, James, the head distiller. He's uh, dressed as James Bond. Um, can't quite remember what that one's called, but obviously it's, it's um, very easy to spot because he is dressed like James Bond and he's got the kind of golden eye little circle behind him. Um, I'm sure they checked out the trademarks and copyrights for that. And this one is an 11 year old which I'm having difficulty opening. It's one of those weird cardboard boxes. So this is an 11 year old 57.7 cast strength, obviously natural colour, no chill filtered, um, that's like everything that comes out of iron, nothing, nothing's got colour, nothing's been chill filtered. This is exclusively bourbon barrels uh, and it was distilled 270308 and bottled in 2019. It's bottle number 86 of 225. So this is a reason to come to a distillery because you can't get this online you can't get this anywhere else apart from here and there's only 225 bottles of this and I've already opened it and I'm just gonna have a I'm just gonna have a little nip
a little nip of the 11 year old distillery exclusive outside the distillery. Let's see what it smells like. Very similar notes to the 10. It's got that creaminess, the, um, the floral notes that you would expect in an Aran. Surprisingly, you know, I'm digging my nose right in there, and for 57.7, it's, uh, it's not giving me um, too much harshness on the nose at all. I'm almost, I feel like there's almost a, a hint of tobacco smoke just on the back end. But it's got a lovely, fresh um, feel to it, um, like most of the irons I've had. Let's give it a little, a little try. What a place. I feel so honoured to be drinking a, a, distil, a distillery exclusive outside the distillery. But wow, you might have noticed, I really packed some punch. It's got loads of flavours in there. And actually, you can everything that's, I'm get, that I was getting on the nose is really coming through in the taste as well. There is a little bit of kind of tobacco smoke there, a tobacco you kind of feel. It's it's zesty, it's fruity, it's floral. There's that big pepper that you tend to get at the the end of uh, an iron. But yeah, it kind of took me by surprise. I, I almost uh, couldn't speak after I swallowed it. <laughs> I'll be more prepared this time. Slightly. It's interesting as well, because normally when you're drinking a nip, you don't talk when you're tasting it. Like if you're on your own and you're tasting it and taking notes or whatever, you don't talk afterwards. But actually when you do talk, it oxygenates your mouth more, it does something, because you're breathing out. And, uh, I don't know, moving moving your mouth around more. So it, you, you can sometimes pick up something different. So you should try chatting away when you do it. But yeah, it's got that real brilliant balance between the cream and the pepper. I'd say, obviously, because this is cast strength, it is a, bit, a lot punchier than the uh, the ten, which is, you know, probably a more mild version of this. Uh, but yeah, what a fantastic malt! And uh, yeah, eighty six bottle bottle number eighty six out of two hundred twenty five. I looked at this last night and I thought, oh. So there's only 225 of these. I'm not sure I want to open it. And then my my level head came in, all, all the other sort of whiskey tubers, everybody's saying, you know, open these bottles, don't just sit on them. And normally I, I, I probably would. I probably would have kept this for maybe a more special occasion. But what could be more special <laughs> than doing a video outside the distillery, drinking a distillery edition? And uh, I feel really lucky and, feel, and really blessed um, all, all that I need now is the uh, the two eagles to do a flyby. Yeah, I get two golden eagles to do a flyby. That'll end the video if they swoop down whoosh, right in front of the camera, and boom, that's the cutscene. Anyway, cheers, guys. If you can get to the distillery, I can recommend this uh, eleven-year-old. It's really fantastic, and on a cold day like this, it's really frosty here. Um, it's a good. It's a good winter warmer, for sure. But it's still got those summery elements to it as well, so it's nice and fresh and vibrant. And crisp, really nice. Cheers, guys.